Twitter, or not Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it Twitter. People are calling it Twitter live stream. So lately they came out and Elon Musk was talking about how Twitter is going to be releasing their live stream function, which they've done a couple times, but they've been turning it on and off and how it's going to compete with uh, Twitch. So he really wants it to compete with Twitch. And so basically there are two models currently for monetization. The first model is that you'll be getting the monetization from any kind of advertising done in your comments. So if somebody comes in and does that, you get that. But also he was considering doing a subscription model. And basically what could happen is this could be similar to say, like I know podcasts, some of the podcasts that I listen to will do Patreon subscription model. And you can say, okay, if you pay this much, you get this tier of content. And if you pay this much, you get this tier of content and that sort of thing. But you can choose how much you want to, how much you want each tier to cost. And then people, you can ask people to pay that. So in this case, what you would do is you like, Hey, I want, if you want to subscribe to my content, then this is the subscription. And then you can choose whatever you want. You could say, I want a dollar a month or I want $10 a month or I want, I don't know, maybe you could go down as low as 20 cents a month. I don't know what the limitations are there. But yeah, that's the idea is that you could say, if you want to set up a channel and you want to do some kind of subscription model, then you could set that up. You could choose your price and then fans can come along and subscribe. So if you are looking to stream outside of Twitch or Kick or Facebook or YouTube, which is where we do, except for Kick, then yeah, this is another option that you can possibly do. But it's an option and a lot of people are, a lot of people said they were going to leave and a lot of people didn't. So we'll see how that goes. That's really interesting. One of the stories, my fault story, backup story for today is actually Twitch is laying off another 350 employees, right? That tells you, I and mean, that comes off the back of Unity yesterday announcing they're laying off a bunch of people, right? So it's interesting. I think the streaming model is, it's not going to go away. And I think X is, or, t or Twitter is definitely going to become a platform where if you are of the right-wing persuasion, that's the place you're going to go to, right? Like Rumble is, is another platform that is under investigation by the SEC and they're probably going to get shut down. But X is not going to go away. The one thing I did listen to at the end of 2023 was a lot of journalists and tech people were like, yep, the prediction for 2024 is that Elon Musk will no longer have control over X. X is never going to go away, unfortunately. For me anyway, I don't like it anymore. But what will happen is that he'll step away. He won't be able to make any decisions anymore, but he will still be an owner of X. And that's the prediction for this year. I think that's going to come true. I've left. Middle Age Gaming has left X. We're now on threads. So come check us out there. Adam is still on X because I know he enjoys it a fair bit. And I do enjoy looking at it. I just can't stand the Chinese propaganda that's on X, especially. I just hated looking at it all the time. I think this is a, it's a very bold move. And I think there's definitely going to be an audience for it from X, from the current audience of X, the libertarians, the right wing people who like, yes, this is going to be great for streaming. That being said, like it is going to be really hard to monetize. Lots of advertisers are no longer using X. If you want to offer people money or monetization or percentage of the earnings, Twitch was 70, 30, unless you're like a really rich creator. What is X going to offer, right? 70, 30 of this ad from this weird company. I know a lot of these sort of left-leaning tech journalists are like, yeah, they're getting ads for uh, Cheech and Chung gummies in the States if you live in America. And like weird ads that, that you would not, there's no more Disney ads. Of course, Disney doesn't advertise in X anymore. So it's definitely doable. And I think it's interesting. But I think the streaming game is changing a lot. Twitch is finding it a, a bit of a struggle. Kick is used to be really hot, but they haven't been in the news for a while. But I think streaming is the future. Lots of people have said it. But then again, right? Like I talked to, I posted this to Adam. The very famous marketing agency, Neil Patel, they analyzed 6,300,000 social posts from 2023. And the thing that they found that resonates the most, that gets you the most engagement in 2023, drumroll is short form content, right? And we know because you guys loved Adam's short, it is the most viewed video we've ever had on our channel, on Instagram, on YouTube, and I'm pretty sure on Facebook as well. And I understand why as well, as much as Adam and Antoine are not big fans of short form content. I know it's the future of everything. Unfortunately, which I know my older brother, like every smart person in my life that I know hates short form content. I'm like an average intelligence person. So it just really resonates with me. So it, it's that being said is I think there's going to be an audience, but I think it's not going to be a moneymaker. I would even say it'll be like a one or 2% money 
margin line in terms of earning their money. 